Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the best plays and games from my team in 2021. So let's go. All right, this first clip is one of our craziest teamwork plays ever. So I'm gonna let you listen into the casters for this one. So enjoy. The team grabs the ball, passes it back to midfield, just in a more accessible position. Timer still uh -oh. ticking down, now it's trying to ball. Yep, Zula and passing it to Tyron. Tyron looking for the score, passes it back to Corey. Is it going to go in? Yes! Oh my gosh! What a series of passes! And that is going to be the ending play. Tribe taking this match. That first clip is just a start. We have tons more of crazy plays, so stay tuned till the end of the video. Now, if you enjoyed that first clip, please hit that subscribe and like button right about now. A lot of you aren't subscribed. This takes me a ton of time, so I hope you enjoy. We got a bunch more to go, so let's get to the next one. All right, hopping straight into this next game now i'm going to show this one just because it is the first monthly final and this game is chaotic now if you guys know us we like to go the distance in gem grab for some reason so remember this also keep in mind gem spawns are random at this point in the game they have changed it thankfully but again random at this point keep that in mind throughout this video or this clip and here we go so we're going to be able to get those gems out we got a team wipe we reset the countdown they do have a mortis that counters us very hard so this is a very tough matchup we do go down there i think my joystick slipped whatever happened we got the kill in return and now we're looking okay we have some control into mid it is 10 gems now and we are starting the countdown and again if the gem spawns on our side right right about now we probably could win the game but again things are going crazy fades going in we are going to be able to stay alive i believe in this corner on 24 hp which kind of clutch and uh, again we start the gem countdown so many countdowns have been started throughout this clip we are going to go down they are able to block off mid and now we are losing the control again they got the control they have the gem spawns ready for them and uh somehow yeezy goes down here beautiful fire by tyrant we got two taps onto him and this was the turning point of the game it saved us right there we probably would have lost if that didn't go down and uh, again, Fade is such a scary brawler for me right now as Mortis. I have to be very, very careful. I'm trying my best to block this off and deal with him. However, it's not working out very good. Yeezy's getting a lot of taps on this side. You'll also notice he's about to block off the mid. Zulon goes down. Tyrant's able to somehow survive this. He's going to juke out, get a kill onto Yeezy. And now it is 14 to 13. If they get this gem spawn, they basically win the game. However, we got Lucky. Spawns on our side. We need to come back into mid to get control. They're backing up for some reason a little bit too much much the last gem 15 gem spawns on our side we have the countdown at this point all we need to do is survive we're gonna get that win what a crazy game we did win against the counter comp all right this next clip we're taking a look at is from the exact same series now this first quarterfinal match of the first month was a banger and that's why i'm going to show two clips from the same one so here we go we are losing right now by uh just one star at the moment however zuan is going to go down very shortly we are going to be able to pick a kill up on yeezy but we are still losing now tyrant is able to get his super he's going back to use it and again return to sender is op at this point and uh so we're trying to push them back 10 seconds left it's not looking great however toast is going to use return to sender gets returned to sendered and zulon gets the last little finish kick on him we're able to somehow come back in this side this game very clutch kill from zulon and tyrant to win it and we move on to the semifinals of this month all right so hopping into this next clip now you guys know the rivalry between us and stmn this year was or 2021 was absolutely insane this is a highlight play from tyrant he's going to be able to walk up the side with a colette super and he's going to get go to value town here literally watch this he gets a three-man super i believe or two men doesn't matter but he's going to get a kill onto og as well he's going to get that goal and we're going to win this first game of the monthly final versus stmn all right hopping into this next clip versus ix gaming on siege rest in peace siege they're coming in with a level five bot right now and i want to show this one just because well sprout clips aren't really that exciting for the most part however this one was pretty clutch so it was off screen i killed the i killed the barley which is the biggest damage dealer on the enemy team which was a huge kill we probably would lose here if that wasn't the case now we have to come back we do have a small bolt lead however they had the control it is very easy for them to hold it we're putting some crazy walls inside the mid they're gonna go for this bolts in the mid zuan's gonna have some fancy feet here juking out on every shot from second we're able to get a bolt on the left he picks up one picks up two and we're able to lock in this siege bot coming next and uh, at this point we know we're getting it so we have to go on the offense tyrant gets a kill on the chepo and now we just have to stay alive no one die here we're able to, well we still need a lot of damage 60 percent against the sprout luckily sprout didn't have wall zuan's gonna get a kill onto kangarmo and uh, at this point we have barley super 
Sprout, there's the wall, but it is too late. We're able to get a ton of damage and we're gonna win this game. Thought it was a pretty nice little turnaround inside the mid. All right, here we go. Hopping to another game versus IX Gaming. And this time around, I want to show highlight Tyrant's fancy feet dancing and juking so much here. So Zuan is going to go down, leaving Tyrant in a 1v2 on this right side. Now, if he goes down, we lose this lead that we need. So crucially, Tyrant gets a kill onto Kang. It goes down at this point. Zuan's just able to get in the zone in time. We are winning by 1%. They have to leave the left. They're going to have to try to kill Zuan, and he's going to be able to survive. We win the game. And if Tyrant steps out for just one second, we lose that game. So huge clutch by him. All right, here we go. Hopping into a safe zone match versus STMN. Now, if you guys follow esports nowadays versus us versus STMN, it is always close on this map. We are both long range. You know, we love playing long range. We're going to get a couple nice tabs. We get a couple kills here. We're down quite a bit of percent. We still need a lot of percent to go. We're going to get some damage. However, it's still very close right now. They are still in the lead. We still need a couple more kills. Zar is going to go in. Zuan is going to ignore Zar. We'll get a super onto safe. We hit Bobby from the back and now we just need the damage. Zars on the enemies are safe and we somehow get that win very close 10%. That's basically just a Brock shot. All right, this next clip has one of the most insane endings and so I can't even cast this good enough. I'm going to let the casters do it. Here's a listen in. But back, I was looking at Slash, right? He was on low health and completely calculated. I can almost imagine what the VC was saying. He was asking, okay, so wait, if, if I step on the bear trap, is it going to kill me here? No? Okay, <laughs> let, let's get rid of it. And then he just barely manages to slip away. It's a Bell 1v1 here, and they're both going to go down, but Jigsaw comes in. Here's the next challenger. Corey steps up to the plate. Aqua, they just got to stay on this point for a little bit longer. Here comes the hedge. Tyrant has to get this defense. Slash goes down. Oh Dylan's going to pick up the win. A 1% difference for game number one what a game like i said a crazy ending somehow we managed to keep them out with the lose super and sprout wall get that win by one percent all right hopping back into another stmn set on safe zone and again these games always were super close on safe zone and still are and uh, it goes back and forth. So either way, Zuan's gonna get a couple nice double taps here. We're down by 30% basically. We're gonna get a couple nice shots. However, it's not gonna be the lead. Tyrant gets a super. Now we have the lead, but they have 20 seconds to push. Now, Zuan's gonna try to hold them back as best as possible. They're pushing up. They have everybody respawned and we are stuck in our zone at this point. We need to get kills here and it is going to get dicey. So here we go. We're hitting a couple shots. Bobby, they're all going in. Somehow me and Tyrant don't miss. We get the defense we need Zuan wasn't in time so close to get another shot on the safe and we managed to defend that huge shots from both of them. now if you thought the crazy endings were done on this map we got another one for you so let's hop straight into this one and again so far so close they are winning by like five percent but we're juggling back and forth between me and Zuan to collect the zone because we only have 15 seconds left now we are winning at this point however they're coming back fade is full hp everyone's luffy's juking we are able to get a nice kill fade goes down to uh tire goes down toes goes down fade goes down we are able the last man standing we win by five percent everybody died somehow we were able to stay alive and we get that win. all right to end off the video we're going to show you one of our best wins of the entire year at worlds versus sk gaming we were the underdogs they were the favorites i'll let you listen into the casters for this one. damage again <laughs> what a jump from jet gets the kill actually but goes down as well yeah, but I mean, he got the kill. I mean, it's going to be a bit problematic for Semantic, though, however. Zulan going to pick those two bolts up as well. Tyrant going to place down the life plant there as well for extra healing qualities for Corey. He jumps away from that situation there. Great pressure from Semantic, but it is going to be SK to defend this push, and they've got to defend it well. Yeah, that bolt cannot be picked up, which means that Tribe not only will uh, be keeping the lead, uh, uh, sorry, will be keeping control, they will actually be all tied up in bolts. So this is still a pretty sweet spot for Tribe Gaming. They don't get a whole lot of damage, but SK Gaming, it's all about this retake. They have a bit of a percentage lead, but it's not by all that much. They need that center control, and there's a lot of utility available for Tribe. This is the thing now. We need to see SK get around all a phenomenal defense. Uh, otherwise, they will have their tournament journey come to an end here. Again, it's match point for Tribe Gaming NA, and it looks like they're going to get this push as a team wipe comes in. Jessen goes down, full control for Tribe, and it's going to be a big, at least a level 10 bot coming in, Tony. Level 12 bot for Tribe Gaming. They only need just a little bit of damage. This is absolutely doable here for Tribe. SK Gaming need to pull off an amazing defense, but the damage comes through, and they have done it. Tribe Gaming 
and A are going to the quarterfinals and SK Gaming is going home. Oh my goodness me, look at that! The studio is so electric! The Brawl House igniting with the victory that is Tribe That was one of the best feelings I've ever had playing Brawl Stars after that win. However, you guys do know the outcome of the next round. We're not gonna show that one. Either way, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, please subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.